after watching Simon Sanook's How Great Leaders Inspire Action, I, I gained some great insight from his information. Now he begins with stating that all great leaders that are inspirational follow the same pattern. And that pattern being they always start with a why. And he referenced the golden circle, which typical leaders do the what, the how, and then the why when they're doing a program or, or leading people. Well, Simon clearly states that these great inspirational leaders always start with a why. They let people know why they're doing it, the, the purpose of what they're doing before they do the, the how, which is the process, or the what, which is the product. They clearly state why they are doing this. And that's very important to get people on board with you and have them follow you as a leader. Now, in my eyes, there's two different types of leaders. There's those leaders that can be, you know, in a position of power, domineering, um, and they get people to work because they offer them, um, you know, promotions or um, a pay increase. They can have, um, you know, peer pressure, and it's a form of manipulation getting people to do the work and they kind of coerce them into doing the work. They're, they're not truly being inspirational. It's my way or no way. Well, with an inspirational leader, it's completely different. An inspirational leader um, gathers people around them because of something called charisma for one. And it's not always charisma, which charisma is a Greek word based on um, and meaning the term of a gift. Now, people with charisma, yes, they do have a gift. They attract people, and they're able to inspire people with their charisma. But charisma is not the only thing that you need to have to be a great inspirational leader. And the first thing that you really, truly need to have is a vision. And that vision provides a clear picture of where you're going. It it tells a story. You, you have a future. You communicate that future to the team as well. You let them know where you're going. The second thing that I, I believe that an inspirational leader has, they're enhancing. They're always creating, they're developing. Um, and they also enhance their one-to-one -one relationships with others. They, um, they're very communicative. They um, listen, they connect with people. Um, they truly want to know more about a person in order to build a connection with them and get them on their team. Um, the other thing I see, they're always a driver. They're focused in their pursuit of what they're trying to build. They are always developing something. They see into the future. They're reading all the time. They're exploring things. Um, they're not sitting back waiting for things to happen. They're taking the step ahead. They're the action getters. They are the ones that, you know, don't wait just because something's going well, they take the next step and they push forward and they say, well, if this is good, let's make it better and try to, to change things and make it, you know, superb. And then they keep building off of that. Um, another thing, they're principled. They have values and ethics. And what do I mean by that? They, um, they're a powerful role model. They, they show you by example. What they say is golden. They're true to their word. They develop great relationships. And they, um, they're just a strong, inspirational leader. The other thing that I see that truly makes a great, inspirational leader, they're enthusiastic. Now, I don't mean by like a cheerleader type enthusiastic, but they exude passion for what they do. They have energy. And it could be focused on the organization. It could be focused on their goals but they have a passion and a drive. It's an inner drive that strives, um, that makes them strive, excuse me, to be a better person or create something better. Now, leaders can learn to be more inspirational, but it takes practice. That practice um, comes with an awareness of what you're doing and how you're treating others. Um, you have to reflect on your practices. Not all people are built to be leaders, 
but they can be taught how to be a better inspirational leader. Now, Simon, you know, goes back to that golden circle and says, always start with a why. Well, why are you doing this? Why is it important? You need to focus on the why if you are going to be an inspirational leader. You need to give feedback to others, and it needs to be done in a way that it plans for development, not, not negativity. It, it has to be positively done. Um, and being an inspirational leader, you need to be courageous too. You need to look forward. You need to take that next step and you need to be prepared to lead others. And that's what my impression is, is of a great inspirational leader. One day I hope to be an inspirational leader as I um, venture through this doctoral program. Um, I'm building my myself up and, I, and I'm trying to learn different ways to lead and hopefully I will be able to utilize those soon as I seek out a professorship at a local college. So that's my my take on what being a great inspirational leader is. Thank you.